for sure that you're going to be full time. Yep. So like, what was it like during the apprenticeship? Um, were you nervous that you weren't going to get the full time, or were you confident, just as confident that you were going to get the apprenticeship that you were going to get the full time? And um, either one, like you still have to do things in order to get that. So, um, how did you prepare for getting the full time offer? Yeah, I think. Uh, so when I accepted the Pinterest offer, I had two other offers. So I had an offer from the Intrepid Pursuit, mm -hmm. and I had an offer from Handy. Do you know okay, Handy, yeah, no, Handy in New yeah, York? Yeah, New York. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I back to the roots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I really wanted to work in New York, and uh -huh. like um, the Boston company said, I could work from their small New York office. Yep. And then Handy was in New York. Okay. And then, um, so then I, I got the Pinterest offer and it was like, oh, these two things are for sure. Yeah. Like, I, like full time salaried employment. Yeah. Or I could go to Pinterest and take a chance. Yeah. And I had actually heard uh, one person speak, Tracy Chow. She was an engineer mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. and she was very, oh, like. Oh, yeah. She's very vocal about like diversity and things like that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 So I saw her speak at Harvard while I was at Boston. Oh, wow. And she said that like the program was like the apprenticeship program, something they were trying. They didn't know if it was going to work. It was mm -hmm. kind of like a trial. And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm the guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> so and, and by that time, I had already gotten the offer. I saw her uh -huh. like the Saturday that I received the offer or Amazing. something. And I was like, OK, like this isn't for sure, but I'm going to go to Pinterest. Like, yeah. like I have Play to go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have to go to Pinterest. Actually, my mom was the person that really like pushed me to accept the offer because I was like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, she was like super supportive. Um, I had those other two offers and I was like, ma, like these are like good paying jobs. Yeah. Like I can be close to you. Blah, blah, blah. And she's like, no, like you can't <laughs> stay here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, you have to go because I remember how excited you were yeah. when you got the interview. Yeah, I'll say even just throughout the whole conversation, your energy is up the entire yeah. time. You're still super excited, which is dope. Yeah, yeah. and <laughs> when it comes to, it's funny that you bring up your mom throughout this whole process uh what was mom like what was what was she telling you all along yeah my mom has always been like super supportive um mm. she's awesome she never knows what mm. i'm up to but she really <laughs> trusts <laughs> that yeah. i'm doing the right thing i think yeah. all of our parents they're kind of like confused what <laughs> we do for tech yeah i mean even last year i think my mom thought i was working for jp morgan <laughs> <laughs> she like told me and i was like no ma like you have to come see where i work like it's yeah. so cool yeah um but yeah she's she's never really known like i i kind of mm. just told her like oh yeah i'm gonna major in economics yeah sounds good have you had anything to eat today like yeah. have you drank do you have enough water like that kind of thing yeah, my mom was the same way <laughs> yeah, yeah. she says she sends us packages of food still oh <laughs> oh that's really yeah. nice she sends my brother food <laughs> but yeah um and then when i told her like I, I had graduated and i was like oh i'm gonna learn to code and like do this thing she didn't know what code was she knew it was something on the computer and yeah. i had always spent a lot of time on the computer so she was like okay i'll just like you can live here and yeah. like i'll support you yeah. and cool like go for it she didn't know what i was doing like she just knew that i was out of the house all the time and i was working really hard yeah. and at times she was worried about me yeah. <laughs> she's yeah. like are you eating yeah <laughs> so at this point um you gone so far you got the apprenticeship you're going through it uh can you share what you did to actually turn that apprenticeship into a full-time offer yeah so we actually have like a template for conversion from apprenticeship to full-time mm -hmm. okay um, so you, you're assigned a mentor who's like there for your day to day, like help guide you and like maybe ask you to join her mm -hmm. projects. And then you have a manager whose really purpose is to make sure that you're on track to convert by one year. So it's a one year mm -hmm. apprenticeship program. And there are multiple times when you can convert throughout the apprenticeship, but you have to like make sure you demonstrate certain things mm -hmm. to this board unbiased like board of people who will review your work mm -hmm, and yeah. decide whether you get hired full-time oh. yeah so basically like you kind of know coming in what you have to do yeah um and and like how and how long it will take you to yeah. get converted yeah. um oh one thing i will say is like being an apprentice was really hard yeah. <laughs> because like i said nothing is for sur for sure yeah. yeah so you're like constantly working to prove yourself yeah. to others and to yourself yeah um and like it's really tough especially when you're the only person like in the beginning i was like one of three people who were a part of this program who had this like very non-traditional tech background while everyone else had a CS degree. And then on top of that, I like don't look like anyone else. Like yeah. out of all the engineers, I was like the only Latina yeah. that 
anyone that I knew knew of. Yeah. So yeah. like yeah. <laughs> for so long, I was like the only one. Yeah. And that that was really hard because I felt really different. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm a woman. I'm Latina yeah. and I come from a non-traditional tech background. Like I'm so different yeah. and like I felt different yeah. and I felt like like there were some disadvantages but little did i know most people didn't know that i was an apprentice yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, that's, that's amazing <laughs>